happens to coincide with another broadcasting milestone. It's the departure of Grant Tinker, NBC's chairman and chief executive officer since 1981. Grant, you've made a terrific contribution not only to this network, but to all of television. Your commitment to quality was an example for all of us, and good luck to you. And, and if you need anything to help you get back on your feet, don't, don't be bashful. <laughs> you know, I was watching television recently and something occurred to me. If you play with the contrast button, you can make Peter Jennings look like a Klingon. <laughs> <laughs> but something else occurred to me too, and uh, that was that a lot of great personalities who entertained the first generation of TV viewers are still around, still giving their best to a whole new generation. And you know what else occurred to me? I think this idea would make a wonderful closing production number. Hey, old friend, are you okay? Old friend, what do you say? Old friend, are we or are we unique? Time goes by. continue next week most friends fade or they don't make the grade a quickly made and in a pin sure they'll do <laughs> but uh, no friends want to discuss old friends here's to us who's like us Damn so old friends, fill me in slow, old friends, I want to know the where, when, and
entries were voted upon by peer group members of the Academy. Votes were then tabulated, and those receiving the highest percentage of votes became the official nominees in each category. Nominations were screened and voted upon by peer group Blue Ribbon Panels, and the votes were tabulated by the accounting firm of Coopers and Librand. The winners were known only to them until announced on this program. For the 38th Annual Emmy Awards, this is Charlie O'Donnell speaking. Thursday on Cheers.